This video was made by Self Advocates. Wendy and Brian are waiting at a cafe for their friend Jeff. While they wait for Jeff, they bump into an old friend. The MF2 units have been pulled down. I hate those oh, units. Oh, yuck. Me and Brian live in our own place now. It's our place. Where do you live, Barbara? I live in a CRU group home with the star. So here comes Jeff at long last. Remember him? He was getting into trouble for being late. Late for breakfast, late for tea, late for everything. Well, lots of things have changed since we lived in an institution, but not Jeff. He is always late. Junkie, then I've got. Hi, everybody. Hi, sorry. Sorry I'm late. Hi, everybody. Oh, sorry. I've had one hell of a day. Well, well, I had to put the washing out, my mum ran, oh, yeah. and then I had to d put the bins out. Oh, oh, well, oh, what a hell of a day I've had. Sorry. This is Jeff. Jeff used to live in an institution. Now he's a self-advocate. This is Brian and Wendy. They used to live in an institution too. Now they live on their own. This is Barbara. Barbara used to live in an institution and now she lives in a CRU. And this is just one of those clutches. Friends, speaking up together. So are you guys coming to the South Advocacy meeting next week? Yeah, yeah. probably. What, um, what's the South Advocacy meeting? It's a meeting where you talk about your rights and talk about your problems. You know, when I was in the institution, I didn't even know that I had rights. I didn't even know they existed. What are rights? Well, you have the same right as her and him and me. Yeah, you have the same rights as her. Under the law, you're an adult. Under the law, you have the same rights as anybody. You have the right not to be hit, not to be punished. Do you have a key to your own house? Do you have your own money? You should have. Here, here's a flyer about the next self-advocacy meeting. Take it and show it to your staff and tell them that you want to come. This is Barbara's CRU. I shouldn't have to knock on my own home. I should have my own key. Hey, I had a good afternoon. Good. Yes. Right. What does that mean? Jeff said that I had the same right as any adult. Hey Barbara, your friends Brian and Wendy just rang. They want you to go over on Saturday. Can I go? Of course you can go. Well, does everybody else have to come with me? Mm, no, I'll get one of the staff to take you and pick you up. What time would you like me to be back? One of the staff will pick you up at 4.30, because yeah. you have to be back by 5.30 for dinner. Okay. <laughs> Ah, 
of that. Hi, where are you? Hi, Brian. Hi, Barbara. Where's Jeff? Like oh, that is usual. Oh, boys. Hang in. My goods. Come on. You want a cup of coffee? Yes, I'll have two, please. Okay, I'll go and make a cup of tea and coffee. Is this your place? It's nice. Yeah. What's your house like? Have you got a room of your own? Yes, but I get bored sometimes. And I don't like the people who I live with. Yeah, I know what you mean. When I first moved out of an institution into a CAU, I didn't have any privacy, and we all had to go out together, and I didn't like that. If you get bored, you should come over for a visit or a chat. You're always welcome here. Thanks, Wendy, but the phone's in the office, and I have to ask the staff if I'm allowed to use the phone. No, no, you have the right to use the phone. It's your home and the phone's for you to use. If you live in a group home or a CRU, you have the right to use the phone. We should get some chips and drinks. Barbara, you want to come to the shops? Yeah, I don't have any money. Don't they give you any money? No. It's your money, you've got the right to use it. You have the right to ask for your money. So come along to the meeting and learn about standing up for your rights. Do you want me to ring your CRU? I'll ring the staff and tell them that you want to come and tell them about the meeting. It's their job to make sure that you get there. Yes, please, Jeff. Okay. I have to be back at this CRU for 5.30. I remember when we were in the institution, we had tea at 4.30. We had to go in our pyjamas at 5.30. Go to bed at 7.30. I still have my dinner early! Come again! Come again! Yes. Come to the South Patrick Center meeting, I'll bring your staff! Bye! You have the right to join a self-advocacy group. You have the right to have a key to your home. You have a right to privacy. You have a right to use the phone in private. Staff cannot punish you. You have a right to go out when you want to. Barbara, Jane Harper. <laughs> Brian, John Slattery. Wendy, Janice Slattery. Jeff, 
Yeah. Colin Hisco. Oh. For being late. Oh. Oh, <laughs> I used to live in the same. Oh, James. I'm gonna have a drink. Oh, it's because we've been cut, cut, cut. Yeah. <laughs> cut, 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 Special appearance, Amanda Hisco. If you would like to learn about standing up for your rights, and would like to join a self-advocacy group, call or ask your staff to call Reinforce on 96507855. Produced by Generations Productions. The script was by Colin Hisco, Amanda Hisco, Jane Hauser and Jackie Ward. Thanks to Busy Oven Cafe, Johnson Street, Abbotsford, Lily and Lucy, makeup and photography, Emmy for support. This video is copyright reinforced 2007.